Okay. Now, when you get across the bridge and you're, you're screaming, when you start making your way over towards this way, an arrow hits the ground right near your foot. Sounds pretty dangerous. Almost as if it should have been detected by a danger sense. You haven't had much luck with arrows. <laughs> Not tonight, no. By I way, feel that if they wanted to hit me, they would have. What? You, you can sense a direction of where the arrow came from, and you can actually see a figure coming out of the bush right here. And it is Bastion. Bastion! Oh, thank the gods. You're fine. God damn it, Samoro. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Uh, it so wasn't good. easy riding here, I tell you this. We made camp, got attacked by kobolds. Long story. I came here as quick as I can. Cut me some slack. Tell me what's going on. There's lot to dis lots to discuss, my friend. He basically uh, tells you that, you know, yada yada yada, the greys are back. Uh, not only his village, there are about six or eight other villages around the area. And they are also empty as well. And as far as he knows, he is about the he is actually probably the only person that has not been captured and enslaved as well. And he knows the actual location of the mines, which is actually where he you know, he he, in, he included that location on on your map as well. And your yeah. you know the the message that he had sent to you and everyone are, well <coughs> excuse me he says that uh, are these mines fine. sorry go ahead no go ahead bastion are these mines keeping all of the village people and the other captured village people or are they being moved elsewhere that's a good question because he he does not know he knows that there are things going on there, but it seems like everything is going on inside of the mine, and there are just guards that pretty much guard the mine. And as he has been, you know, he's been uh, basically doing reconnaissance for the last several weeks, and he has also seen other caravans come into the area and then the next day he goes back to look at them and they're gone. But he can tell that they were setting up a camp uh, you know, because the ground was starting to be broken onto. Um, a, lot of, a lot of things were being loaded off of uh, you know, like structures, uh, fast structures to put up and everything. So he knows that things were going on, but they were also vacating really quickly as well. Was this a camp outside the mine, or is this a camp they were making in the mine, or uh, or distance from the mine? I, I'm not sure what you mean. Well, the, the, the actual camp to where the greys are, uh, it is up into the Sword Mountains a little bit. I mean, it's it's probably several hundred yards up the side of the mountain but it's not like it's a it's not like it's a dangerous climb it's it's basically there's you know just a, a windy pathway and uh, you can actually you can make it up there by foot you don't have to do any kind of climb you don't have to have any kind of special gear and basically all of the other encampments were at about the same elevation but they were in different spots around the around the uh, the sword mountains i mean there's no claim to that and it's basically a first come first serve basis and there's no there's really no law out here so there's there's no kind of you know uh i guess legal documentation that a claim owner says hey this is my lane you can't be here versus somebody else having you know something written oh this is my spot as well and then you know it's, it's basically whoever has the most muscle gets to keep the area basically so the area is contested for 
Oh, it's definitely contested. And, you know, he, Bastion actually tells you that he thinks that the, the Greys are actually running everybody out because they're trying to uh, take everything from themselves. But that, and that's another thing. He's got, you know, he, he tells you that all these towns and all the, well, small villages are, are vacated, but there's no trace of them. Uh, even over the last several weeks to a month, he hasn't seen a trace of anybody. Just basically the greys, you know, the, the, the hirelings of the greys, and once in a while there will be a caravan that comes there to the actual, you know, to the mine, and then they'll leave. They'll offload supplies and then leave. Bastion, um, you understand, obviously, the time we spent in that hellhole. Now, before we venture towards this place, I need to know what are their guard fortifications? How many men have you seen? And is there only one entrance in to this mine? As far as entrances, he thinks that there's just the one. Dead center, right in front of the mine. That's where all the supplies are dropped off. There are several, uh, I guess you could kind of say guard, guard houses, um, sort of small structures. Uh, there's... He thinks there's probably about 40 to 50 different greys because he's also been keeping sketches of you know distinctions of different markings on the robes uh, different items that each gray wears so he, he thinks there's about 40 to 50 different greys is the outside of the mines heavily guarded and people that are dropping off supplies do they go in and if they go in from your observations, do they exchange anything with the guards? Uh, basically, it looks like they're just delivering supplies, and they're really not taking anything back. Except for, it looks like they are accepting a payment, though, because they are, you know, getting a couple small sacks. Probably of gold, he suspects. Gold or platinum or other tradable goods. But nothing out of the ordinary, no. Okay, best you know. I need to share this with you. Obviously, this is our first conversation in some time. But not long ago, Party and I came across some chests which appear to be linked to this very event that's taking place right now. Within those chests, I have a stamp that bears the symbol of Raston. Now, do you believe, for your observations, if we, my party, were to turn up as potential hired muscle for wrestling with a parchment with his sign on it, whether or not they would let us pass without incident? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break roleplay here for a second. Ah, okay. Now, first off, does Bastion actually know who Raceland is? Have you yes. told him previously... Who Raceland is? Okay. Yeah, we was in um, Deep End Mines for some time. We, we had nothing but conversation. Okay. Alright, I gotcha. So basically he knows everything about how you were he, set up and everything. He, he, he knows everything ab about me. I know everything about him. He also knows... He's like Shawshank Redemption. You know, I'm a free man. Gotcha. I know, I'm innocent. All right, we'll go back to the, the actual conversation then. He hasn't actually seen Raceland per se. He says that he hasn't seen him. But he has seen what he looks like to be magic user types. And it, it seems like it could be the same same type of magic user types that had been torturing you two in the deep end mines. Hmm. It's too much of a gambit then to attempt to infiltrate in that manner. If we're uncertain, if it's not the same, then it would be folly for me to attempt to use it now. 
well, if you guys want, I'm thinking maybe you, you and uh, Bastion could sit back some, and then we, uh, others of the group, we could go up and pretend we're the hired muscle while you guys, like, look for another way in or something. Been itching to use my ring. Oh, yes. You guys can talk it out if you want. You guys got plenty of time. Hi, Bastion. It's nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. Is that good or bad? Depends on what she <laughs> what she heard when I was drunk. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet everyone here. And it's really nice to know that the Samoro that I know of has actually had a little bit of redemption and actually made acquaintances that are actually worth being acquainted to. Thank you, Bastion. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. Crickets. Well, oh, no. Uh, Waiting for other people to say conversation, sorry. Uh, I think one thing is um, if it's not an emergency for us to have to go right away, uh, it would help um, they to be able to, um, you know, let's, let's sleep for the night and think things through, and then we can get started in the morning when everyone's fresh. Yeah, you're, you're definitely going to need to. Uh I'm out of context here. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to rememorize your spells. Uh, we'll also have to, uh, you guys are going to have to talk about a plan as well. So I'm just going to let you guys uh, RP this yeah. out for a little bit. I'm, I'm going to ask Bastion. And I'll play Bastion. the role of Bastion as well. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm just going to ask Bastion. Bastion, this is um, something that's going to take some time to deliberate what we're going to do. Uh, if I remember, your your house was not too far from here. Do you have room for us all? We have plenty of room. I've been the only person here for the last month. If we can get into your house away from potential listening ears, that would be wonderful. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. Uh, there's really... There's nobody around here. Uh, I, I make sure of that. I have different traps set up, other warning signs that I can I can check throughout the days, and, and there's nobody been around here. I'm the only one here. Bastion, I really don't care the state that your house is in. Can we come in your indoors to rest? <laughs> Absolutely. We're not going to judge you. I know how much <laughs> a mucky bugger you are, so don't you worry. These ain't going <laughs> to judge you. You can choose any uh, uh, any place that you want. And it, actually, this uh, this large uh, building here, that's that's the barn, so you guys can sell the horses in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we take the house um, closest to that. I mean, if everybody's gone, they're not going to mind us camping in. Bastion, you Absolutely. follow us, and we'll, we'll go in and um, rest up and talk this through. Okay, you guys go to this house here, and uh, you, guys are, you guys have the horses stone away. You also know that you know these these three fields here, one, two, and three. Oh man, that's a horrible ass three. Wow, <laughs> not growing cannabis. I pulled that one out. Now they are not growing cannabis, but Bummer. it's it's basically that you know they're they're basically basically dead fields of just old produce that hasn't been harvested. So there's kind of a. Uh, uh, Sort of a bad odor. I mean, it's it's not it's not unlivable, but you can definitely tell that there's a little uh, funk in the air because of all the Rotting all the rotten vegetation. produce around. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of rot. Lot that was a uh, you know that that was this town's main source of income was uh you know trade with uh, ah, you know different folks. types of vegetables and everything. So how far is the uh, Gray's encampment from here? The Gray's encampment is about, let's see, it's 
about 50 miles. So How basically, long a ride would that be? That's about a half a day's journey, three quarters of a day's journey. So if you basically, if you race, rest up tonight, and if you set out in the morning, you can be there by mid afternoon tomorrow, almost towards eh, closer to sunset. Not dark, but but definitely sunset. I know that um, Bastion's been kind of doing reconnaissance, but some of our party members have skills that he may not have, so it might not be a bad idea for us to get a little bit closer and see what we can notice before trying to finalize a plan. Yeah, I'd still like to serve. That would be good. I would like to help by using my sleep skill. <laughs> You've done enough sleeping, son, I tell you. You've actually done a little bit this uh this campaign as well there somewhere. If my oh, I was just, that was merely memory a serves me, right? That's true. Pyrrhus was there pretty quick. You're just uh warming up. It just stretching me limbs I was. <laughs> Had to give you a a stretch. How yeah, long would it take for um, uh, spell books to kind of refresh with the, the spells? In the morning, by the morning. Eight hours? Mm -hmm. Eight hours. Okay, so if we're in agreement to rest... Seven hours and morning, 23 minutes. Ooh. Is it 10% discount? What? <laughs> Intelligence bonus. <laughs> <laughs> You've been using that Blacksican code. Um, I, I will ask if Bastion will accompany. Bastion, when we go to scale yes. out the area of the mines, are you coming with us? There's um, nothing for you. I'm not going to leave you guys to go by yourself. He's definitely going to go with you. And I and I shall grip his hand like how Arnold Schwarzenegger does, like that guy in that movie when he's like, Ugh, they do that f fist handshake thing. I'll try to find it. Are, what the heck are you talking about? I forget what it is. I think it's um, Bamando. Get to the chopper! Um, Sebastian will come with us, everybody. And he knows the area. He's obviously scouted it out. So he will be able to um, get us as close as possible, allowing the rest of the party to do their initial checks with the abilities he may lack. And um, we'll be able to formulate a plan. Are we good on that? Sounds good. I'm tired of Anybody here? holding this thief's hand. Let's get this taken care of. We found a comfy bed in his house. Right, okay. I suppose we're resting until morning and heading out. I need one second, y'all. Right. I should have studied psychology instead of magic. <laughs> Just out of context, how do you do the uh, out of character stuff? They apathetically twiddles her thumbs. Forward uh, slash me? Yeah. Forward slash me. Or you can do a slash uh, em. Like slash em up. Thank you. Alright. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Alright, so you guys basically... You look at the... You look through everything. And... The town has just been, you can just tell that there's, you know, everything's dusty. Nothing's been lived in except for basically Bastion's, Bastion's house. But you do notice something intriguing, which I should have told you this with, with Bastion. But you do notice that uh, most of the graves 
in the graveyard have pretty much been exhumed. It's just basically about 30 or 40 holes in the graveyard. Like, corpses have been dug up. Which I should, I should have told you that with Bastion. But I was... I got sidetracked with something else. Is this something that I can ask Bastion about? Yeah, we'll just we'll just fit it in. All right, well, I can say well, Bastion, as we're riding through here, we noticed that the grave yard had been exhumed of all its bodies. What's going on? Yeah, and also, not only our town here, but all of the other towns as well. And in the surrounding area, all of their graveyards have been desecrated as well. So they are taking people, both living and dead. This does sound like the work of foul magic at hand. Necromancers. It definitely does. You know, and, and that's basically what, what what you gather from when he's you know, when he told you in his letter to you that and other things as well. That's, that's basically, you know, the two and two that you put together. I'd imagine um, Vey probably recognizes it, uh, obviously due to her uh, magical knowledge as the practices of, maybe, of the Necromancers. Oh yeah, Izzy and, and Vey both can, can definitely tell that, you know, uh, oh, great. there is some oh, undead doing when, there's, when undead bodies are being pulled from the graves, Necromancers are involved. Yeah, and uh, also Purus as well. He, he, yeah, he's weighing in as well. And because he is the master of the undead, so... Well, thank you, Bastion. Let's make haste and um, get but to it, this. It, and even to go back to the graveyard, it, it's not oh. like... Uh, the graveyard was... I mean, it looks like a bomb went off in there. I mean, speaking out of contest, I mean, it is just... It's trashed. I mean, all the tombstones are kicked over. There's, you know, the mausoleum in the middle there. I mean, just, you know, there's 12 shelves in there with no corpses. You know, that, that seal was broken. The door was, you know, the cement door was kicked in. Well, the stone door. And, you know, 40 to 50 graves around. Everything. I mean, there's nothing there. I mean, there's no personal items. Everything was just just taken. Um, before we do go, is it I think within the village that anybody wants to do before we head on out? Basically, uh, the village is, has been ransacked. There's basically nothing of value gotcha. in, in, the, uh, in the small village. Okay, well... On the off chance, I don't want to step into any of Bastion's traps because no, most likely I will fail the chance to disarm them. I say off we go. Okay, so we are back at... We are still in town and we are going to camp here during the night, correct? That's right. So they Any get watches spells. Or, or anything? I ransacked uh, Bastion's bed. Sorry about that. Uh, and why did you ransack Bastion's bed? It looked comfy. Nice. You know he's going to get in there with you. Well, you know what? I bet it's cold up in the mountains. Oh my goodness. Well, you're going to feel pretty warm. <laughs> hey guys, should we set up watches? I don't know. Bastion, uh, how wary do we need to be? about this area. You said you've been here for some time. Uh, has anybody come into the village? Have you had need to remain cautious during sleep? No, I, I actually I haven't seen anyone. And I'm here every night just about. Doesn't matter, we're going to remain cautious anyway. It seems like this place is pretty quiet. Well, if you wish to remain cautious, that's fine. I, I don't mind taking a watch if people are concerned. I'll take a watch, I don't care. I'll watch all night. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, no, no, no. We're all going to need some rest. I'll, I'll take the last watch, like before, and hopefully Izzy doesn't shoot me. No promises. You shoot me a glare. All 
Right then, so it, it looks like it's Gregos and I. Are we? Are Gregos and I just going to be the ones to share, like, a, like a, just like a double shift here? And everybody has sleep. I can well, if you... do a watch if you need another one. Well, you okay, we've got our spells, don't you? Because you're a spellcaster. I can take a watch. I didn't cast any spells. Okay. Okay, us three will take watch. Everybody get a good night's sleep. We're going to be starting early tomorrow. You got it, boss. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. All three watches go by. Nothing, uh, nothing happens out of the ordinary. And you wake up in the morning. Uh, the horses are tend to the horses, feed the horses, uh, adjust the uh, shoes, and basically just PLC on the horses. And you guys are set to ride it out. And this is where we're going to call the game for tonight. And we will pick up next week. What a freaking cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> we will pick up next week. And, Monday. Uh, yes, we will pick up next uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. And we will continue your minds with Bastion. Hey. Dun, dun, dun.